What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and join the family and follow the adventures. Guys, today we're going to be doing a Q&A video for you guys. We have like a couple of questions that were really good and um, we're just going to answer your questions basically. If you like these Q&A videos, let us know in the comments. Yeah guys, so we're doing an intense couples Q&A. Some pretty good yeah. questions on here. Always love like filming these Q&As. Yeah, so. they're so fun and let's I feel like you guys get to know us more. Yeah, let's go. So, okay, question number one. Who spins the most? I think everybody knows this. Like everybody in the entire world. Yeah. It's obviously Brayden. He has the money and he can easily go shop. Well, he really, you have the money. It's our money. Like literally, <laughs> we're making a joke out of it. I like bought a hoodie from Target the other day. <laughs> and she's like, what do you say? And I was like. I was just playing. I was like, can I please have it? She said, can I please have it what? And I said, sugar mama. She said, yeah, sure. Yeah, it was a $50 hoodie. But what I'm saying is like, it's I'll our money. I'll myself. But Alyssa definitely like spins the most. And there, yeah. But that's like, that's all girls. Are you guys surprised by that answer? I'm not. I mean, this is just our latest purchase. We're sitting <laughs> in it right now. $60,000 car. $60,000 car. Who was the first one to make a move? Wow. Was it me? It must have been. I, it definitely was you, I think. And I think it was on that date we had when we went to go see the movie. So oh, when wow. we first started dating, when I was a freshman, Brayden was a sophomore, so we were like very young. For some reason, like we didn't go out. Like I think we were both so nervous. Plus you didn't drive yet. No. So, and I didn't drive yet either, but we didn't do like a, like our first date wasn't just ourselves. We actually did a double date. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of And I worked. think we did that to like relieve some of the awkward tension that would have just yeah. been like just two 15 year olds. Yeah. We were so- We were so nervous. It, maybe that was all my fault. Maybe it was, I mean- I was so shy. If the guy's nervous and I'm like trying to like, be your boyfriend i can get how like the whole vibe can be nervous between both of us but i yeah. think i was awkward i don't even know how i ended up definitely with this, me too with this girl i got really lucky because she Aww. like gave me so much time and she was very patient with me but my game was like i didn't have game i had no game established i had never gone out i mean this yeah. is my first girlfriend like seriously so yeah. we took things really slow we were super awkward but yeah we went on a double date to 50 shades of gray 50 shades the very first movie when it came out that's how you know we're getting old because our first date seven years ago was it was 50 shades of gray in the movie theater it had and that was like out. the big thing because yeah. it was just the book so they were like they made a movie it was like a big thing we weren't even actually allowed to watch the movie because we were 15 we so actually bought a separate movie ticket and had to sneak up there we snuck in there and my first move was like halfway through the movie and yeah. um do you remember what your first move was i'm pretty sure i remember yeah like Alyssa was like oh like i'm uncomfortable like and yeah, I, was I was like, like sitting there i was like you can lean on me if you want and I like kind of opened my shoulder up a little bit. Yeah. And I think that's when I put my my arm around your shoulder. Yeah, it was like more like a kind of like this. And then it took her like, a, it was like a 30 minute process of her like slowly kind of snuggling into yeah, it. Like and this. then, oh my God, it's fireworks. Like that was awesome. Oh. Once that happened, it was like our, I feel like our physical connection just like exploded. Um, and it was just like it was just like such a strong start. It just worked out really Honestly, well. Honestly, it was like moment, something from a whenever movie. I was like laying there too. Do you remember when I said this? Cause and I like Fifty Shades is a romance, <laughs> and I felt like I was living out a romance movie in real time. Yeah, it was really cool. It was cool. But what I was gonna say too was like I was so scared and nervous because I liked you so much, and so whenever I had like moved over there awkwardly, I like did it uncomfortable. And so I was like this. You were sitting uncomfortable forever. I was forever. like this, and then I was like, oh, I'm like uncomfortable. But I, I think, I remember, I think I said that, and you were like, oh, sorry. I was like, no, it's not you. Like, we were just so awkward because we had never dated anybody before. Okay, guys, third question. Why did you buy the car that you bought? Very good question. Um, so honestly, we were in Houston for a week watching my sister. We knew that we needed a car, but like, this wasn't even, we weren't even really thinking about this. Like we knew of the car and I told Brayden before we went to Houston, I was like, oh, I love that car. I would love to have that car, but we never really considered it. And we were actually going to buy a different car, something called a Toyota Supra. Basically that's like Toyota's version of like a sports car. And so we wanted like a sports car is what we decided on. We were looking around in Houston, honestly, because we were bored. George was at school all day. We didn't really have anything. Like we couldn't film. 
And so we were like, we're just kind of bored. So we were looking around, those cars were so hard to find. But then we came across the TTS, which, how did we come across that? I think somebody sent you. But yeah, like we called a dealership and we were like, do you have this car? They were like, we have three different ones. And the one we wanted to go look at actually sold the day before. And we found this one and we just, just kind of like pulled the trigger and bought it. But I love it. I'm like so happy with it. Question number four, do you want kids? This is gonna be something real to like answer because we've honestly been talking about this off camp, like in our personal lives. Yeah, like, like recently in the like past couple ton, days. Like a lot. Yeah. And not in a good way. No. Well, like we haven't argued, but like no, we, I yeah. think we both agree like right now is not a good time. Like not in a good way as far as like if you guys like expect kids out of us. Yeah, we like do not a lot of people kids. are like, I see will comment like, I can't wait for y'all to have kids and become a family channel. But honestly, we've like thought about it before because we were like, because kids is a big like decision. And so that's something that you should like talk about, I feel like. So like we've talked about it and we're like, we could have kids, but honestly, I feel like we just like our life how it is right now. So like if we wanted to go on vacation, all we have to do is like worry about our animals and like getting like a boarding situation to where they can have like food and stuff. But like with kids, you can't just drop them off somewhere. Like you gotta take them with. And I feel like just right now, I feel like personally me, I feel like I'm not even ready to be a mom. I'm still trying to figure out stuff myself. Like I can't spell, I can't pronounce, <laughs> I can't cook. So like why do I need to like raise a child right now? Like that just not would be good. Yeah guys, like Kids are precious, like obviously, but they'll also be precious in five, yeah, six, seven years. Exactly. We're just totally content with just us right now. We're having a lot of fun yeah. um, with like everything we're doing. And, and we just kids can wait, like kids can wait. Yeah, no, kids can wait. And I feel like so also- no rush. Yeah, no rush. And I feel like also like right now, we're just trying to like go do fun things, live a spontaneous life, grow on the socials more and that's just kind of like if we had a kid I feel like that would be a little bit harder because that I kid, just feel like if our life is a book kids are a couple chapters away or maybe next chapter but just like right now we're living in a chapter that's like unfinished yeah and I think that's the best way to put it but also like I have said before if it happens like it happens. unexpectedly then it happens and we will obviously like love the kid and the child I keep calling it a kid we'll love it we'll obviously love it and take care of it and we will start that chapter but as of right now we're trying to put that chapter like on pause so that is the answer some of you guys may not like it but when is the proposal going to happen this is all you <laughs> oh my god i, feel I like can't I, answer this i explain this so, oh my god guys get but we heat. get so many questions guys about get it. heat if they don't propose okay you guys get heat. yeah like i get heat but i expect yeah. it okay yeah. so like i'm gonna <laughs> sound like such a lie like i don't know i feel like i'm trying to get like, like say an excuse but it's not an excuse. It's just like we're kind of on this both same page too. Like, uh, well, here's like the answer. Like, so, okay, I'll just answer it. I'm not even gonna like defend myself anymore because I feel like I've done that enough. But it's not so serious. Okay, it's gonna happen soon. Like, probably this year or the next. Whenever we go on like a big vacation, all I really need to do, like, I'm I'm totally committed. Like my my commitment's maxed out. I tell this all, this all the time. It's just a matter of um, like literally just getting everything figured out. Um, like we just moved in. Like I'm gonna propose soon. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm. Yes, that's the truth, and I will. Like within a year. I'm, there, that's the question. When is the proposal gonna? Soon. Soon. Plus, we did just spend six. Are you happy, or do you want to know the date? The you, would you like to know the date? No, I don't want to know the date. Then stop asking me, everybody. I'm just kidding. I, it, very soon. I obviously want it to be a surprise. Guys, really, I'm like I'm so in love. Like. It's not a commitment thing. Yeah. Um, we've talked about this so many so many times. And a lot of people say it's commitment, but... It's not. But no. listen, soon. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to throw it out there. Soon. They want a time frame. Soon. Being like a year or less. In the next 10 years. <laughs> no, like soon. <laughs> soon. A year or less. What are your goals in the next five years? This is the last question. This also. is a good question. Make it good. What would you say our goals are? I would say... Just to honestly... From what standpoint? Like from a mental happiness standpoint, just to keep living my life with you and just be happy yeah. and be more and more in love every day and just keep everything positive and just vibe, be 
have a like a fulfilling spontaneous fun life with you yeah. and just live every day and love every day mm -hmm. as hard as we can and just enjoy everything yeah, like, every moment just don't take it for granted and just enjoy everything exactly and if and i would hope to want to be doing that in five years at a higher level than i am now or mm -hmm. at the same like just that's all you can ask from life that's Seriously. all you can ask out of life as far as like um like social media just be bigger shit that'd i be think fun. everybody wants like that, be big but... be huge yeah like be logan paul level jake paul right? like that would be sick obviously i'm a chamber addison ray like just be the yeah. biggest and the baddest i wouldn't argue with that um i think everybody who does you? social media would want that what about you so i was gonna say for me like i feel like i summed that up pretty yeah well. no i was gonna say like for me obviously be bigger um, but that's not the most important thing. No, to no, us. no, no, no. Like no, if no. that happens, which it's expected to happen, because like no, that's like, what I expect. Obviously, our out of life us. has already changed just in general. Yeah. And like I'm so happy right now. That's why like like I said, I don't want to have kids right now because I just want to enjoy the moment. You know, I don't want like my life to like. Life just... is literally so precious. That's what I'm and saying. And it goes. That's so why quick. I'm like prioritizing just being happy and being in love yeah. more than like any of this social media stuff. Like it's great, cool if we grow, cool if, if yeah. we, you know, like. I hope it works out. But another thing is too for me is I really want to do a lot of traveling. I just want to like go like see. Like people a bunch ask of that question places. all the time. Like, what are you gonna do if social media doesn't? Like, I'm not worried about it. I'm doing it now, and I expect it to work out. Yeah, but that's not what's important to me. Like, what I do when somebody asks what you do for a living, I love hanging out with my girlfriend and spending time with her and mm. loving her. That's what I do for a living. Yeah. And making videos is just a side piece of that. That's so great. I was also going to say, like, another thing is, like, how you said when people ask what if social media doesn't work out. In the next five years, I would also like to try to, like, invest in some mm -hmm. stuff or, yeah. like, have some... Uh, We're trying to diversify our income. Yeah. Get, um, like, retirement investments yes. put in place and stuff like that. Or, like, rental we properties. were talking about, yeah, rental properties. Um, We've been talking about that, honestly, since, like, 2019. Like, dividend payouts, investments. Yeah. But we're kind of, like, you have to wait for markets and you have to yeah, have your money ready to go when it's time. So, like, we're just kind of waiting on yeah. all that stuff. And when it's time, it's time to, like, like shoot Especially, the shot like, on that. for, like, rental properties. Right now is not a good time to buy a house. Because we thought about buying a house, but that's the reason why yeah, that's we actually we're got right an apartment. Now because the housing prices are just so crazy right now so were the car prices yeah but we actually did need a car yeah we knew we were gonna like, need a car the car prices but like we don't have a choice right yeah. now we can rent and we're not signing in like our life away to anything super permanent a car mm -hmm. like we had to have yeah just how the timing worked out exactly but i love this car to death Me and it might be could might be become a collectible we actually were talking to the guy they're discontinuing the series yeah and it, they're actually the, gonna change the, the whole tc look. looks beautiful it's like the it's the affor affordable they R8. call it the baby r8 that's, that's another reason we got it for. it could become like like i don't know i just love this yeah. car i honestly just love this car i love it like i literally will sit in the apartment sometimes and i'm like i just want to go drive like <laughs> that's <laughs> i know we could I? do be we could li we came out for no reason we're not buying no, we we're could not be buying doing anything. this at the apartment right now yeah no we could be filming technically in the apartment but we just wanted to be in the car so we're filming in we the just car. love this car it's so we fun it car. literally brings us excitement yeah it really does like it's so exciting it's so cute i just love driving it but yeah. They say don't spend your money on materialistic stuff. Spend it on experience. But I feel like this car this is a little bit experience. of both worlds. It's mm -hmm. like it's kind of materialistic, but not super. No. And, but it's not crazy. Like I couldn't imagine spending like some of them. Like so. Like I I feel like you could not talk even if we're like the richest people ever. I don't know if you could talk me into buying a two hundred thousand dollar car. That's how much the. But R8 this is not bad. For. This is and it's fun. And what's what I was gonna say was I always said my dream car was an R eight. Mm -hmm. And when we went to the store, like to the dealership, and I saw this car, I literally was sitting there thinking, and I was like, the body, like the shape of the car, is exactly like the R eight. The only difference is like the R eight has like these gill kind of like things that make it look more like exotic and sports car but literally the dealership guy told us he said i didn't even mention anything about the r8 i i looked at the car and he goes it's the baby r8 he goes it literally has like the same engine just as like a tad difference and you're not having to pay two hundred thousand. Yeah. that's literally what he said and the thing's just a thrill to drive yeah like it's so fun to drive yeah like, and so like we're just you couldn't pry Alyssa out of this car i don't think she's gone one day without driving it <laughs> I think you're right. I think that might be a problem though because I just want to drive it so we end up going to the stores and stuff and spending money. But I just love the car. 
Okay, guys, that was all of the questions. Thank you guys so much for submitting uh, the questions. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed Thanks us answering them. for watching and subscribing. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button. Be my outro. Join the family. Do it. This is this gonna be our outro now? We can't you're not do doing it. it right. What do you mean? It's a butterfly. Uh, do this to the thumbs. Now, be graceful. Be be graceful. Fingers together. Fly, fly. And we're out. We love you to death. See ya.